I'm not sure if we have any NPR fans out there, but this is Marketplace. Hidden Fates Edition. What's up? I'm Awana Turtle, and today we're going to be talking about the Hidden Fates market, secondary market, and how things are shaping out. Uh, in my opinion, this is one of the most hyped sets in a while. I feel like it's super rare that you cannot find a set, um, you know, in, in stores or wherever. So th I think this one is a whole new animal. Um, I wasn't around during like Shining Legends, but definitely Dragon's Majesty. I feel like probably most people didn't even know what happened. It was really not that popular. So let's take a look at how the market is reacting to this new set. We're going to be using TCG player, not so much for prices. Uh, we'll go to like eBay to find out what things are really selling at. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed with how many listings are on TCG player to use that as a real indicator, but we'll kind of just use this as a stack ranking. Uh, obviously, big boy Charizard is at the top. We'll go into more detail about him, but all I'll say for now is 390 is the cheapest one. This morning there was one for 350 and I was about to buy it. I had some like TCG player store credit and um, uh, just some different different ways to save a little bit more. But then I was like, oh my gosh, this card just came out. $300, I feel it's way too high. Uh, so I ultimately passed and I'll probably be, um, you know, it'll be in the back of my mind whether or not I should have bought it, but I, I, I'm still confident or I still feel that the prices should go down. So let's take a look. Uh, Mount Cornet is next and like, oh, Mount Cornet, you mean like this Mount Cornet? And there's only one listing, it's at $125, and no. <laughs> uh, so let's take a look at eBay, and yes, yeah, so SV, so this is from Hidden Fate, and these guys are going for about $40. But there's only three sold, and actually, let's just get rid of uh, this thing. Let's see if. Yeah, so it looked like they're hovering about, oh, actually, 35 so uh, not bad. So $35, $40 for the Mount Coronets. Uh, let's see, Cynthia next. Cynthia, I would expect to be pretty high up there. TCG player has it at 110. I think actually Troll Until might be a little bit cheaper, but then actually way cheaper is going off eBay. Uh, 75. This one was like lower than 60. And then from there, it looks like it's hovering around 70, 70 to 80 dollars is Cynthia. And so these are all sold listings. Let's take a look. Let's drop this thing and uh, nope, it's the Ultra Prism one. And here, this is Cynthia, so that's 90. It's kind of hard to read out the, that one's Japanese. Oh, I guess I could have just typed in Hidden Fates. But, yeah, so you can pick these up for about 70 to $80. Tapu, uh, let's just confirm, yep, Tapu Lele is next. Oh, this is crazy, so TZ Play has 90. These guys are going for like 70 um, on eBay, and again, I will... I'm not sure if I'll ever drop this, but like this guy, Tapu Lele is gone already from standard rotation. Imagine what it would be like a year from, a year ago. Like, um, and I feel like Tapu Lele was surviving like reprints. The prices were still pretty high. You know, people wanted the uh, the full art one, the the gold one, just to swag out their decks. And now like, but the post rotation prices obviously went down. But there's all there's only looks like there's only two sold for about 70. Let's take a look at if you wanted to pick up a new one. We may need to change our filter. Let's just add in hidden baits. And 90, 75. Uh ooh, these ones. Yeah, don't buy that. Uh, this one's actually for the online game. Actually, yeah, so Tapu Lele is super expensive, so let's rotate it out. Oh my gosh. All right, so Lele is another champion of this set, another one that I really want to pull. Let's see what's next. Mewtwo, and then we'll probably skip, skip Tepu Bulu. I'm not sure why anyone wanted him. And then we'll go Shrine of Punishment, I think. Uh, obviously, there's a bunch of other ones, which we'll go into more detail down in future episodes. But uh, let's just stick to the biggest hitters right now. Mewtwo being next. Sold listing, 60, 55. All right. Guys, I understand that it's really hard to find product now. I actually might go out and try to see if I can get some more after this. But don't do this. Um, you know, don't dub, don't pay double under any circumstance. Like this is paying extra ten dollars. That's that's ridiculous. When you just just do like the math, these things are super expensive. Five dollars per booster pack at MSRP, and then to pay more than that, it's 
I, I see, you know, the impatience, the FOMO is real here, but, uh, you know, uh, I stress, I don't think it's worth it to pay extra. But Shiny Mewtwo, back to Shiny Mewtwo, 50 for him, and let's just go to this, and we might have to, again, do hidden baits. GX might not be helpful, there might be too many, let's do Shiny. Alright. There, uh, the game, 84, Ooh, okay, Mewtwo looks pretty expensive, there's not too many, digital card, 60, so actually, uh, there, while there is a couple sold for like 50 or so, I think it was 50, um, if you do want to buy another one, you're actually looking at a little bit more, and last one will be Shrine of Punishment, uh, so SV90, that's probably the best way to do this search, let's just do this now, alright, SV90 for Shrine of Punishment, 50, 60, 35, okay, so this one's not too bad. And I think this is actually one that I really want. This one actually, a lot, like a couple copies, or I feel like if you play uh, IRL, like this one would be a good one to have a couple of. But, uh, and it looks like it's per, whoa, geez, that's, yeah, this, those people, I feel like made a mistake. Oh my, if you can get it on bid, probably some good opportunities there. But uh, yeah, it looks like $50, $60, $45, you're lucky. And, oh wait, no, this is, oh no, this is currently in, not sold yet. <laughs> so if you want a new copy, looking at anywhere from $45 to $60 for that. But let's go back to Big Boy Charizard. And let's try to do some analysis prediction. So look, cheapest right now is $390. Again, this morning there was one for $350, so they probably go fast on this site. Uh, I think Troll and Toad has it at 450, and I think they're sold out. I'm not sure how many they had, but that is absurd. All right, let's see. Uh, okay, so let's do some comparisons with how previous Zards have performed. Uh, let's just take a look at what the current prices are. So Reshi Zard, uh, I feel like a couple months ago they were going for like 200, and at one point I bought some off of Troll and Toad for like 180, and prices are still going down. I thought that was like a steal. Lowest right now is 173 and it's still near mint. Uh, and there's a good amount of listings here. So, um, you know, I, I think I should look, we'll continue to speculate on why that kind of happens. And then let's go to the Burning Shadows Charizard. And this thing says 170, but the important thing is these are all light play. Let's click this near mint thing and then we're at 250. So this guy the price is holding out pretty high. Let's go to eBay. Let's see which one we have. This is the Burning Shadows. Let's do Reshizard first. Um, all right, so these are again sold listings. So it looks like, you know, that's about the same as TCG Player. So I feel like TCG Player takes a little bit before like it kind of aligns with eBay. Uh, looks like for raw ones, you can get it for anywhere from 170 to 200. And then the PSA 10s are doing healthy around that $400 mark. And 205, 175. Okay, so it seems to be pretty consistent. And then for the Burning Shadows, uh, let's ignore that one. I'm not sure what's up with this. That this card must be damaged or something. And 200 near mint. Once, ooh, 167. That's pretty good. Um, wonder if it's how how actually near mint it is. And then for the PSA 10s, oh my gosh, 800, 900 best offer accepted. That is absurd. Uh, so let's try to figure out what's going on. Let's use so this this site uh, PokemonPrice.com is only for PSA stuff, and it kind of like scrapes uh, eBay and stuff like that. And scrapes the PSA website to get the pop report, and then shows some historical data as far as sales go. For uh, we're going to focus on PSA 10, and actually PSA 9 kind of looks like it follows a similar trend. Let's get rid of all this other stuff. Oops. All right, so uh, yeah, they do follow a very similar trend where, let's do some speculation. So Burning Shadows, I did look it up, came out in May. So, oh wait, May, for some reason that was March. Oh no, March was Japanese. All right, so in May is when Unbroken Bonds came out. Let's take a look. So something happened in uh, February where it looks like the prices went up significantly around December I wonder to be honest maybe it was even the Japanese that once once it was known that a new uh, Charizard for, uh, rainbow Charizard was coming out and people started speculating like, oh, let me pick up pick up these uh, these uh, burning shadows ones 
and then come May, May, I think there was a bit of an uptick, and then now with, uh, and then now all this, the um, Hidden Fates hype, you know, things are still very healthy around $600. Uh, so I feel like this one, I, my speculation is that this Charizard is one that benefits from other ones because like, he's the OG uh, Rainbow Charizard, sorry, strictly talking about. Um, so other ones coming out, he benefits from. And let's see if that transfers to uh, the newer ones. Let's see how Rushies are performed. This one has, and this is kind of like what I'm hoping for for the Hidden Fates one, and why I didn't buy that $350 card, and because I'm I'm kind of hoping this will happen. Obviously, I could be wrong. Like, it's hard to tell for a set like this what the you know how difficult it is to pull, and so it looks like there's a steady downtrend for Reshizard. And I think it's kind of like, you know, oh, this guy new came out, everyone thought I was so excited. I think um, when Burning Shadows came out, this was like the first Rainbow Charizard, it went exactly the opposite. Like people didn't realize what it was, and then the price went up when people were like, oh man, this thing is actually super hype. And eh, this is not the best indicator of that, but I feel like that was the case for the raw ones. Um, I think years ago, you know, you could get them for like $100 or something like that for raw. Now it's essentially double. Um, and yeah, for Reshizard, basically the opposite trend. So, you know, when you're not the first one, when you're secondary, sometimes there's a lot of speculation, and then eventually, like, alright, well, um, and then price slowly goes down. And I feel like that's normal, and that's kind of what I'm currently expecting for Hidden Fates Charizard. Let's see what else we got. Just a couple to compare it to a couple things, because, like, uh, Hidden Fates is a special set, so let's try to look at trends uh, from Shining Legends Dragon Majesty. We'll just go with the most expensive cards, and this is only from PSA. Um, PSA 10 we're going to be focused on. You know, obviously this this is a Mewtwo, not a Charizard, so like we're we're going to ignore the numbers, but just look at the trends. And the trend there's a downward trend, and then eventually spike back up around around early 2019 but in general like um all right so yeah downtrend and then an uptick and then um, i wonder if it's going to continue to go down a little bit eventually maybe a flat line around here stabilize the hidden the other mewtwo i'm surprised this one does as poorly as it does maybe just because there's so many that this card is awesome compared to this one and i wonder if this is more of a just a straight straight up supply and demand thing where maybe the demand's not uh, maybe the demand's going up a little bit, but the supply is relatively low compared to this one is over double uh, And this one I feel like kind of have the same same downward trend actually no uptick towards the end as well um, So again, this is the only reason we look at this because it's a familiar set and then for dragons majesty I th This is like just super low pop this I feel like this set was just so unpopular, but this is a really cool card uh, I wonder if this thing could actually continue to go up have an uptrend uh, just because I feel like the supply is just going to be really low and I'm not sure how high it will go. I I never pulled one of these and I didn't even open that much product. But uh, yeah, so this one, I don't think there's just enough data. So in summary guys, I, I'm hoping that the Hidden Fates Charizard follows a similar trend like this so I can rationale in my head, like rationally, like not, not buy these $400 cards, it's three, even that 351 um definitely not worth it in my opinion so uh that's our first marketplace for the hidden fate set let me know in a comment down below what are your thoughts what things do you feel like um what trends do you think could happen that maybe we did talk about or maybe we didn't uh whether you agree or disagree let me know in a comment down below as always guys thanks for watching thanks for all the support uh for the channel recently and um yeah best of luck if you're having trouble finding hidden fates uh Again, the way I would probably go about it is I'll call, I'll call GameStop, uh, Target. Maybe they'll help you out. Walmart, you may probably just go in there and check. And um, yeah, best of luck. And then, of course, best of luck on your polls as well. If you want me to show off your own polls in one of my videos, just uh, send me a picture on Instagram or however you want to go about doing it. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'm a Wanted Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.